Referees in WWE games are there to do the simple task of calling a match right down the middle without any issues at all. And for the most part, they do the job pretty well, even if you give them a little beating every now and then, just to be a bit of a jerk. However, there have been some times where referees, both guest and official, have completely screwed you over for different reasons, with some of them being completely deserved because of your actions, and others happen simply for you just existing. These are the nine times referees completely screwed you over in WWE games. In the original SmackDown vs Raw game, if you was the champion after SummerSlam, you'll be seen at the next show in the GM's office with the GM announcing that you're going to be defending the title once again on tonight's show. After a little back and forth with the GM, your opponent from the last pay-per-view, who in my storyline was JBL, will enter the GM's office to tell the GM that the referee of the title match has been attacked backstage and now there's no referee for the title match. JBL will offer to be the ref and promises to call a match right down the middle with your superstar protesting. The GM will however accept JBL's proposal and will now be the ref of your title match. Surprisingly, JBL will be a fair referee and will call everything right down the middle as promised. But this video isn't called 9 times referees were completely cool and did everything fair. So how does guest referee JBL actually screw you over? Well after winning the match the GM will interrupt your celebration for retaining the championship to let you know that JBL wasn't exactly telling the truth. Hold it, hold everything. You almost got away with it Mr. Referee. You almost put yourself in position to screw over the man who just recently beat you. But I just saw a security tape that showed it was in fact you who knocked our scheduled referee out cold right before you found him. So regardless of the way this match has turned out, I have no choice but to render this referee wannabe's decision as null and void. His decision does not count, and the match must go on. Since we still need a legitimate referee, I guess I'll just have to do it myself. The match will now restart, but there's one big problem. It's a completely unwinnable match. So now you've officially lost your title, all thanks to JBL and his strange obsession with beating up referees backstage. Before there was a WWE Raw game on Xbox, there was a Raw video game on the Super Nintendo. In Raw, you could treat the referee in the ring with no respect at all, running into him with no care and making him look like the absolute weak fool that he is. Ha <laughs> ha! but doing this comes at a cost. Unlike most referees in WWE games who just act like complete cowards when you mess with them, this ref actually has a breaking point with your antics. The ref will get up, gesture that he's had enough of you being an idiot and walk out of your match, leaving your match with no referee whatsoever and completely and deservedly screwing you over. No referee means no one is there to call the free count. And no, there is no replacement ref for you to beat up once again. And don't lie to me, we all know you would do it again if there was another referee out there. In No Mercy's Championship mode, there's a chapter in the world title storyline where your superstar gets a championship match against whoever the champion is at the time. In my version, it's against Triple H after calling him out for a title match. The match you have is a must win match, losers will use up your only continue that you have, so you pretty much have two chances only to win this match. After you get that hard fought victory you will finally become the world champion but don't get too used to holding it as right after the match ends Triple H will complain to referee Earl Hebner that he had screwed him over with a fast count and that he has to reverse the decision of the match the referee will initially refuse to reverse the decision but would later cut a deal with Triple H that convinces him to now screw you over instead and reverse the decision of the championship match meaning your hard-earned championship win never happened at all Thanks to referee Earl, I'll screw over anyone as long as you have something for me, Hebner. In Smackdown Here Comes the Pain, if you are the champion when it reaches February, you'll be put into a storyline where Mr. McMahon stacks the odds against you so you don't make it to WrestleMania as the champion. He announces that at the pay-per-view that you'll have to fight against two people and later on he will give you the choice to either fight both of them in a handicap match for the title or you can have two separate title matches at the pay-per-view. If you choose to have two matches, Vince will insert himself as a special guest referee in the second match. And as you can imagine, he will be the most unfair guest referee possible. He will slowly count your pinfall attempts and fast count any time you have been pinned. So it's important to never get put in a pin whatsoever. After doing what I think is the slowest possible count I've ever seen by a referee in a WWE game ever, you will have the chance to get some revenge on Mr. McMahon for being such a terrible referee who tried to screw you over. You can beat him up with a microphone or drop him on his, um, grapefruits. <laughs> Which is just too hilarious of an option not to pick. Maybe now on Vince will have second thoughts about being an unfair referee after this. Spoiler alert, he doesn't. 
Smackdown vs Raw 2006 had two different storylines depending on the brand you was on and which superstar you chose to play as. If you picked a Smackdown superstar then you would see Teddy Long get run over to start off the Smackdown side of the story mode off. The entire story mode would see your character leading an investigation to find out who ran down Teddy Long. After winning the Royal Rumble match Teddy Long would return to Smackdown after about 9 months of being out. He will then reveal that the one who ran him down was actually your superstar and the whole investigation was a cover up and because you won the Raw Rumble match, he says you can't be fired. Why is Teddy Long more concerned about firing RVD? This man should be locked up, he tried to end you Teddy, forget the firing, call the damn cops. Anyway, you can't be fired, so it's now Teddy Long's goal to make sure you don't even make it to Wrestlemania, putting you into a string of insane matches like handicap matches, cage matches, hell in a cell matches, and even lets your upcoming Wrestlemania opponent be the referee of one of your matches. And as you can imagine, he will not play fair at all, and will try to screw you over. It is possible to win however, but Cena will not make it easy. As I said earlier in this video, referees these days in WWE games are complete cowards when you mess with them. That wasn't the case when you mess with refs in GameCube WWE games, specifically Day of Reckoning for this entry. If you punch the ref one too many times, he will have enough of you doing that and will begin to fight back and even do wrestling moves to your character. During this time when the ref is at his most angriest, he will not count any pinfalls or submissions. In fact, he will kick you out of your pinfall attempts. Never mess with GameCube WWE games refs or they they will give you a whooping. Here comes the pain had a storyline where you had the chance to not defend your championship at the upcoming pay per view if you won a six man battle royal match. If one of those other five superstars wins the match then you will begin a storyline with them. If you do win the match however then you will begin a different storyline where the last superstar in the battle royal match will accuse the referee of being unfair and then goes on to beat up the referee. The ref that got beat up by that superstar will come out to the ring the next week and announce that all the WWE refs are now on strike due to Kevin Nash beating up a referee the week before. This is when things start to get wild. There will be no referees at all in your matches so anything goes. You can use weapons, have interferences and there's no count outs. After winning a match without a referee, somehow, you will get beat up after your match with JR explaining that there's no referees to break this up. So thanks to these fragile refs, you get interfered on and beat up all because they couldn't take a little beating after a match without going on strike. The referees will return the week later after your match with Earl Hebner bringing out a chair for you to use and announcing that the strike is now over after like two weeks. You'd think that going on strike would put an end to referee violence. Spoiler alert. It didn't. Smackdown vs Raw 2011's Road to Wrestlemania mode had a storyline in John Cena's Road to Wrestlemania that would see Randy Orton become the GM of Raw and will abuse his power to make everything difficult for you throughout the story. In one section of the story you will be up against MVP with a title shot being given to the winner of the match. Randy Orton will let you know prior to the match that he will be the special guest referee. Once you get into the match you will find out quick that Randy will not do anything at all. If you go for a pinfall he will just walk around the ring and completely ignore that you've got a pin attempt. Why isn't Randy counting this pin attempt? Why make yourself the ref if you're not going to do a referee's job? There's no telling what Randy Orton's motivation is for many of his actions except they are all in the best interests of Randy Orton. This will happen until Randy Orton grabs the microphone and makes an announcement. Attitude adjustment. What should MVP be looking to do now, King? Oh, gee. You call that a match? Here's what we're going to do. There's a chair in the rampway. I want one of you to get it and hit your opponent. Do it. Do it or you're fired. If you didn't use the chair, then you'll be completely screwed over, as MVP will use the chair against you, and Randy Orton will count the pinfall, and you get no title match. Don't do it, Montel! Now pin him! Here is your winner, the man who wanted it most, MVP. You will however get your revenge by actually setting fire to Randy Orton's GM's office. I guess you can say John Cena is another person who should be locked up with RVD. 
And lastly, Here Comes the Pain makes one more appearance in this video because the developers of the game gave the referees a very high chance of reversing your attack anytime you tried to hit them or do a move on them. The only problem is that, as you know already, referees can get completely in the way of matches and accidents do happen. But the referees in Here Comes the Pain won't care if it is an accident. They will still reverse your attack almost all the time and give your opponent a chance to get a free hit on you. This feature would only be seen in Here Comes the Pain, with the first SmackDown vs Raw allowing us to freely beat up poor innocent refs that kind of deserve a little beating. So that's the end of the video. Make sure to do what these things are doing right now as always, as you're not going to want to miss what's coming up on the channel. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you all on the next video.